guys, I'm out here in Mexico. I'm right here at a small little cafe. This is my cousin, I haven't seen in two years. I'm gonna try to see what I can get here. Not too many options out here, that's something I'm gonna talk about. There's not too many options out here to eat healthy and eat high protein and low carbs. Everything is bread or tortilla, so you have to figure it out. But I got a workout in today, so that was good. I found a little gym right here in the small town where I'm at, and they gave me a membership for the whole week, and that worked out good, so we'll see. Acabo de comer un super platazo. ¿Sí se dice? Sí. No se dice platazo. ¿Se dice platazo? No se dice sí. Un platazo con pollo y lechuga y todo. If you're wondering why I'm speaking in Spanish, it's because I'm in Mexico, so this is Spanish edition. If you don't know Spanish, I'm so sorry. You're going to hear a lot of Spanish while I'm here vacationing. We just had food. I had some chicken, I had some veggies, I had some fruit, I had a coffee. I'm gonna head out right now downtown. We're gonna have a good time. Oh, is this your car? Yeah, nice. Guys, check out her car. Uh, what's with the this is a nice car. She got the punch buggy right here. Check it out. That's a nice car she has going on right there. No, yo vivo aquí cerca. Yo vivo aquí cerca, voy caminando. Quiero que ya comí para que se baje un poco porque si no. The good thing about Mexico is that there's no there's no uh, rules to crossing the street. No hay reglas para cruzar, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí hay reglas. No más puntas al suelo y caminas. Mira, vámonos. Caminas y la gente te te va cuidando. Hay reglas, tiene que dar el paso. That's the cool thing about Mexico. You just point to the ground, you start walking, and there's no worries. Feliz estar aquí visitando Querétaro porque tenía dos años que había venido, no había venido a Querétaro, entonces algo super padre poder venir y descansar aquí un poco con la familia. Tenía como dos años que no he venido y pues me hacía falta un, un tiempo de vacación. Y como les comentaba hace rato, tratando de comer saludable y cuidar lo que estoy comiendo es un poco difícil estando aquí porque pues lo que hay, lo, más que nada en el pueblito donde estoy quedando es por de tortillas y carne roja y no hay nada de pollo y verdura. Y... Bueno, pero lo estamos haciendo poco a poco. I thought when she when I heard her singing, I thought it was like the band set up over there. There's a band set up over there, you can't really see, but I thought it was that where the music was coming from, but it was her. She's she's wild, she has some vocals on her. I'm super excited because además que estamos aquí en el centro histórico de Querétaro, también hoy va a haber un festival de jazz. Jazz festival today. Me encanta el jazz. I love jazz, so I'm really excited to be here. Probably gonna be later on today.
here at this bomb restaurant. I had a really good pizza, I had a lasagna. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of protein in. I didn't really get any protein in, but it was so good. It was, it was, it was definitely worth it. It was the first time here. Thanks to my fam that over here brought me out and Guys, hola amigos de YouTube. Hey guys. Así. Hey guys. Hi. No, no sé hablar inglés. Hola, bienvenidos a Querétaro. Oye, esto pesa muchísimo, ya me cansé. Yeah, now you Bye. know what I have to carry. It's heavy, huh? What? Pero está muy pesado. Fuerte. Sí, está muy pesado. Guys, if you didn't know, I go to the gym and lift weights just so I can carry this camera as we go along with this weight loss journey it's been difficult i've been here for two days so far and it's been hard keeping the diet uh i've been okay i haven't ate anything you know crazy i haven't ate any tortillas which i was really tempted to honestly i haven't eaten meat i've been eating mostly chicken veggies and uh i'm really slacking in that area where i'm not getting too much protein in so tomorrow i'm gonna hit the store like 20 minutes away because an issue i've been having here is that the stores here in the little town don't have any like you know, almond milk or Greek yogurt or any even protein bars or anything that I can get besides chicken that I'm eating. So tomorrow I'm gonna try to hit a Walmart. Uh, that's like probably the closest store, 20 minutes away, but it's a Walmart that hopefully has what I need so I can make some shakes or, you know, get some protein in, maybe some protein bars I have to stack up on. But the good news is that I found a gym. I found a gym this morning uh, and it's actually like three blocks away from my house, so that was perfect. So I walked in. First of all, I was really surprised to find a gym because like, I'm in a small town and uh, the last time I came here there wasn't a gym. So I heard that there was a gym around here. So I went to it today and walked in and I said, hey, can I get a membership for just a week, you know? And they, they gave me a really cheap price, I mean, compared to, you know, the States. But uh, so I got a membership and <clears throat> I got some cardio in and did some weightlifting and I didn't get a lot of protein in. So I was kind of like, I guess just upset about that, that I did a lot of weight and I did a lot of cardio and, and I didn't get a lot of protein in today because it was hard. It was hard to get a lot of protein in. So I still ate well. I didn't eat anything crazy. I, uh, I had a high carb meal earlier, but uh, I got some protein in earlier in the day. Nothing too crazy. Not, not a high amount, but uh, I got some protein in. And uh, tomorrow, like I mentioned, I'm going to go to the store and hopefully get some more protein. But uh, yeah, it's been a really fun day. Uh, it's cool because since I'm on this weight loss journey, it's really motivating me to eat better and and look for ways to exercise. So like for example, finding that gym today was awesome. It's gonna help me uh, get through this week easier because I was really nervous about that. When I was heading over here, I was like, man, it's gonna be hard to eat healthy. It's gonna be hard to exercise. I'm not those kind of guys that go outside and go run, go run around the block for you know two miles. I'm not really about that i like hitting the machine it's just treadmill you know cardio machine and bikes or whatever and lifting weights so uh or skating every now and then on my bike but i don't have any of that here but anyway so so it was really hard for me coming over here i was like dang what am i gonna eat when i'm over there you know all these tacos and burritos tortillas that are available and then i was like all these gancitos and these beautiful delicious treats and i was like man what am I gonna do about that? You know, I might gain weight because I gain weight really fast. I said maybe I'm gonna gain a few pounds while I'm over here. You know, what if I start binge eating? But uh, thankfully, it's my second day and I have not been eating anything uh, bad for me. I haven't, I mean, I can't say bad for me, but I haven't eaten anything like crazy. Like the worst thing I've ate probably is the high carb pasta that I ate earlier today. But uh, even that, I had veggies on it and it wasn't something like, oh my gosh, you know, but. But uh, yeah, I've been really watching what I eat. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go to the store, hopefully, and uh, 
guys thank you so much for watching uh i know i keep saying i'm gonna talk more about my weight loss journey and i promise you i am i have to find the time to sit down and i guess emphasize a little more about what what i'm doing exactly like the kind of exercise and the food that i'm eating and all that basically like i'm just eating a lot of protein uh chicken protein bars you know protein powder when i make my shakes and uh not as many carbs uh what else it's pretty much it like this it's not like a big you know crazy diet that i'm following i'm just making sure i get a lot of protein in not too many carbs not too much dairy i don't drink regular milk right now i do uh, eat greek yogurt which has dairy in it but i don't drink regular milk and um that's pretty much it just high protein not as many carbs and when i say low carbs don't get me wrong i'm not like on the special keto diet or like this super low carb diet i just i don't eat as many carbs with every meal if that makes sense for example if i'm gonna go eat a burger i'll get it lettuce wrapped instead of regular buns if i gotta go eat a pasta uh well i mean that's pretty much a high carb meal but with other other stupid other stuff that i would regularly eat a lot of carbs and i i try not to eat as many while i'm eating the meal if that makes any sense and of course i'm trying to do exercise while i'm here and it's tough but it's cool it's fun it's fun uh it's fun and it's motivating when people see me that haven't seen me in two years and they're like, oh my gosh, you lost a lot of weight. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how'd you do it? I'm like, no tortillas. <laughs> Nothing that you're eating I can't eat because they, you know, they offer me like, oh, you want tortillas? You want burritos? I'm like, no, I can't. And I mean, I could eat one or two, but I don't want to, I don't want to eat one or two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight because two years ago when I was here on New Year's Eve, I ate like 13 tacos. 13. So that was bad. But anyways, guys, it's laid out. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. It's been a good day. I had a good exercise in today. All the walking I did, aside from the morning gym exercise, I ate good food. And I'm excited about tomorrow's going to be another day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Again, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. And if you like this video, go ahead and share it. And uh, yeah, thanks for following along. <laughs> Thank you.